Well, first of all, I, I mean, I do want to talk about, I did go to the zoo and I, and I met a kangaroo for the first time. Oh my gosh. I oh. would write that in my notes Dude, too. That's can, sick, bro. Can we please put the videos next to me like mm -hmm. while I'm talking about this, guys? My whole life, I've always wanted to meet a kangaroo. Like, I'm not even kidding, Meets bro. A kangaroo. Like, oh God bless, dude. Like, a kangaroo to me is like, I don't know why. I think the intimacy of little Joey in the pouch to me yeah. was like, I, that's how I felt me and my mom were. I always felt like I was in her pouch. <laughs> and I always, I don't know, like, I don't like how you laughed at that. Just because you. <laughs> the comparison to wanting to meet a kangaroo. Well, because I, I understand the you relationship. felt like you're in your mom's pouch. I that's still feel like I'm in my mother's that's pouch. weird, bro. No, it's not. It's my mother. I don't know why you think that's weird. It's my mother. I would jump in my mother's pouch right now. Oh, okay. We're going to have to draw the line somewhere. I don't want to. I'm going to. And in my Patreon, so I'm going to be explaining very much in detail about the pouch and the warmth of my mother's pouch. We might even film a video. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. Uh, no, so, so basically, uh, Logan, uh, God, like, dude, like, hanging out with Logan is just, you know, when you get to a certain level of success, they just give you shit. And so like when they give him shit, like I will like if it's a club with like crazy atmosphere and women, I'll hang back and chill at the at the club. But if you're gonna be like, hey, we're gonna take Logan and shut down a whole zoo and you guys could play with the animals, these are the days I thank God for Logan. Wow. Cause like, bro, like we, dude, just imagine that you go to the front, you go to the zoo with your friends. That's a whole different experience. When your boy comes up, he's like, yo, they shut the zoo down. <laughs> we're meeting the real Tarzan <laughs> with KSI. And we're just going to be hanging out with little Joey's running around. And I was like, dude, yes. So we go there, we played with a koala. I have dude. a picture of me with a koala. Oh, oh yeah. He sent me a picture over text of like him in front of koala. It didn't even look yo, have real. You seen them, have you seen them fight? Bro. No, they give you chlamydia though, but it's fine because uh, I don't think you get your sound effect. One sec, I'm going to look it up. It's so crazy. Wait, what do you mean they fight? Uh, when they like wrestle each other? Just their war sound. Their yeah, war sound? Their war sound. Wait, while he's looking that up, I'm going to go into great detail of how I felt with this kangaroo. Okay. And <laughs> No, I, I need you guys to really just hear me out here. They're little claws. It, it, by the way, little ones, they're called joeys. And I went up, I approached the my first little Joey. So it, it's a baby kangaroo? Yeah, her name was Lily. Aww. It was a girl. Um, I, wa I walked up to Lily and she just, she just like little <laughs> mighty, she got up on her feet and she put out her chest and she like did this shit to me. She, she goes, and she like, she sized me up, bro. But I came at it in, a, in, a, in like a humble approach. I came like very low and I went too low and she's like, oh, he's a bitch. And she like fucking... She did one of these. No way. And the 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 trainer guy or the guy who takes care of them, he goes, itch her right here. Itch her right here. And I have a video and I'll show it to you. I found her spot and nobody could find her. I, I found her spot. <laughs> and she was doing she was doing one of these things and just like she kept hitting her head against my, my like right here. She was like this, like fuck, he got it. Like this is amazing. And then I stopped, bro, and it was the cutest moment I've ever had in my life. They have like these tiny little claws. She looked up at me. She stopped sizing me up, and she just reached out, grabbed me, and she pulled me. Bro. In. Stop, like Tommy. She, yeah, no, literally. No. When like, Tommy like grabs your arm. Yeah. As, as, as much as I love Tommy, he's right there. I know. That's why I have to whisper. Yep. As much as I love Tommy, look, he's looking at me. She had like almost hands. I don't. Your hands are doing something weird right now. Like <laughs> she had like almost hands. The way she would like claw at me and like hold me, it was just like. It was, she was like this? Yeah. Like a little human. Like a little human <sighs> grabbing you. Okay. That was the second greatest experience there. So then I'm like, this can't get better than this, right? Then the trainer goes, I'm I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I. You want to see something crazy? And I was like. <laughs> you sound like old Greg. <laughs> I go, yeah. I'm I go, old Greg. I go, yeah. I would love to see something crazy. He goes, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Like, where are we going? He goes, shh, come here. And I was like, okay. So we walked. And we're like, I would not follow that. I man. would. I would. 100%. He just showed me a, a kangaroo. He let me play with it. You let me play with your kangaroo. I'll go anywhere with you. <laughs> well, okay. And so <laughs> he's like, hey, come here. And so I walked up to him and he goes, look. And he pulls out a baby. And I'm going to pull up a picture. A baby kangaroo in a pouch. Inside oh, the pouch? In a pouch. Like he took it out of the mom's pouch? Well, because he was a baby and he didn't have a mommy. No. Yeah, I know. He didn't have a mommy. So then what? They made him a pouch. What was the pouch like? In the pouch. I could hold the pouch. Oh. And, I, and I was holding the pouch. Like you were the mom. Like I was the mom. 
And it was at that moment I know what my mother felt like when she gave birth to me, and she, I to, literally can't and she had to separate herself from me from her pouch, and I was like, I would never, I would, I, I could never do this. Yeah. And so I held it. Did you have post-pregnancy depression? Yeah, you, <laughs> postpartum. I'll get into that postpartum because I definitely did. Got it. God. I can't explain to you when I held this baby kangaroo, this little Joey, this little Joey, little pouch, oh. and I held him right here, and he looked up at me, and we made eye contact. And then I went like this and I rocked him. I did oh, a little, a little, I did one of these, like I was bouncing because I was like, this is what your mother would do. She would bounce. So oh, I was like, yeah. just, I was just bouncing around like this. And he rested his head right here mm. and he did one. He closed his eyes. He goes, oh. he goes, <laughs> if it wasn't America, I would have kidnapped that. <laughs> oh my God. I swear <laughs> on everything that I love, I want a kangaroo i don't care how it takes i don't care what i need to do i don't care how much it costs i want a kangaroo a lot of men they want lions and they want cheetahs <laughs> fuck all those pussy cats <laughs> i want a kangaroo Dude, they can be mean so though bro. yeah they grow up to be like speaking of mean animals listen no to no, this. no 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 i think <laughs> oh there's an ad i think oh, i think if you Domesticate them, but I mean, that's not good for them. You know, they're wild animals. Kangaroo no. Jack? I disagree, bro. I really do feel in my heart that <laughs> animals and mankind, I'm sorry, mankind, were, were made to be together. I swear, I promise you, it's in my heart. I believe that we're all meant. I think the reason why it's severed is because of humans. Mm -hmm. I think humans have, have disrespected animals and lost that balance between humans and animals, but I really do feel that. You take any type of animal, any type of animal, and you treat it with love and care, mm -hmm. I think it will give you the same respects. Yeah, and they'll, they'll remember you, and they'll remember that you gave them, like, love, and so they'll be, like, respectful with you. But I think, like, at the end of the day, kangaroo needs to be out in its environment, the wild, Okay, you know so, I mean? so, yes, absolutely. I, I Like, for example, the love and care. Mm -hmm. I don't think you could actually love something if you take it out of its environment. That yeah. It, yeah, you get totally. what I'm saying? So, like, what I'm saying is, like, we give them, like, all of the room that they can, but then we meet them in their home. Mm -hmm. And then we play with them and hang out with them and, like, yeah. make sure. I think that's how it should be. I think, like, the perfect zoo would be to have, like, acres and acres of, like, land mm -hmm. and have them be able to, like, roam and do whatever they need to do. Um, and then we could just drive up to them and be like, hey, hey, Joe, you remember me? And he'll be like, yeah, I remember. Yeah, you. <laughs> I'm so sleep deprived. All right. If you guys liked that clip, go ahead and hit that link in my description and watch the full podcast. You will not regret it. Thanks for your support. Love you.